When two points have a different number of electrons, there is said to be a voltage potential across those two points. Whether or not you realize it, you're already familiar with this concept. When you rub a balloon across your head, you're pulling electrons from your hair and depositing them on the surface of the balloon. The result is a voltage potential between the balloon and your hair. We measure voltage potential by using a unit called volts. Let's think about a battery for a second. The negative end has more electrons than the positive end. That means there's a voltage potential between the two ends. When we connect something to a battery, the built up electrons begin to move. And we measure that movement by using a unit called amperes, or amps for short. When I hear people describe the movement of electrons, I often hear the word amperage. It's natural to conclude, since we use volts to measure voltage, we must use amps to measure amperage. This is not correct. If I'm being honest, the word amperage makes me cringe every time I hear it. Imagine if somebody wanted to say that it's hot outside today and they said, wow, the Fahrenheitage outside is so high. Or what if I would ask, how much hourage does it take to drive to the airport? This sounds ridiculous, right? The correct word to use when we describe moving electrons is current. Current is measured in amps. So from now on, if you catch yourself starting to say amperage, stop and remember this video and say current instead. Thanks for watching. Where's the battery? There it is.